Hey y'all, Carl Jorn here, Pioneer Field Agronomist for Northwest Indiana. Out scouting a field of V1 stage corn here in late May, and as I was digging through the seed trench, I actually came across one of the more challenging to identify early season corn pests. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to bring y'all in a little bit closer and help teach you the best way to identify the different species of white grubs. So the best way that, that you can identify uh, the specific type of white grub that you have in your fields is by taking a look at the hair-like features on, on their backside. And so those rasters uh, align in different patterns and that is the telltale feature in which we'll be best I best able to uh, discern what, what pest we have in our cornfield. While I have it in focus here, you can pick out this V-shaped pattern right in the middle uh, of my hand lens. So what that V-shaped pattern indicates is that this is ap actually a, a Japanese beetle larva. The presence of Japanese beetle larvae in corn is not a concern. Uh, rarely will we see yield limiting root or foliar feeding. With that being said, a pest of growing concern is the Asiatic garden beetle. The easiest way to identify them is by their enlarged maxillary palps. Uh, these are just behind the uh, grub's mouth parts. Asiatic garden beetle feeding damage is uh, usually scattered across a field, but oftentimes the most severe damage will be concentrated. The grub feeding will remove the root hairs and can do damage to the main root system in addition to the mesocotyl. Uh, this will naturally result in reduced early season vigor. A tillage pass may be used to disturb the overwintering grubs, but the best way to manage Asiatic garden beetles is to use an insecticide seed treatment at planting. If you need to replant due to excessive stand loss, use a soil insecticide to control the active grubs. If you have any other questions on white grub identification or best management practices for Asiatic garden beetles, please contact your Pioneer sales representative. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.